Ha ha ha, I love when my footage is deleted. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. This is the second time I'm filming this video because it is, what is it, Tuesday right now? Yeah, it's Tuesday right now and I went to go edit this footage and it wasn't there. Which is great, I love it. And this kind of just means that I get to rant for a second time. So honestly, if you know me, you know that I'm okay with that. Today we're gonna be talking about what the hell money is. And more of a me ranting about my personal experience because I'm kind of dying right now. If you don't already know, I am currently running a shop. It is called Riley's Little Shop. It's on Etsy, the link is down below if you want to see what I'm talking about or any of the products that I mentioned. And running a shop comes with a lot of financial responsibility that I was not expecting. I have never been good with money, to say the least. Whenever I get money in my pocket, I either save it and hoard it away and never want to spend my own money, or I blow it the second it hits my hand. Now granted, throughout running this shop, I've gotten a lot better with what I'm spending money on. I haven't actually spent money actively on myself for things that I don't need in a couple months because of this. So I am getting better, but I used to like, oh, you got $20? Time to go to Target and spend that $20. So I'm handling money in like a responsible fashion for the first time because this is money that I am putting out a service and a product and people are paying me for that service and product and I'm making a profit off of it. And it's a really weird thing to think about because when you're starting a business, fun fact, you don't actually make any money. Any money that you make, any profit that you make goes straight back into the business. So in reality, the only money that I've actually made off of my shop has gone right back into the shop and gone to like putting gas in my gas tank and paying my phone bill. And phone bill, yeah, speaking of that, Bills are a thing, like there's this Etsy service fee on Etsy and it's complicated and I don't understand why they don't just take it out of your earnings but you have to pay it like afterwards at the end of the month and it's really confusing and I don't understand why they do it. It would make so much more sense to just take it out of what you earn already on Etsy and then you don't have to like take it out and then put it back in. But nope, they don't do it, they don't do it. It doesn't make sense. Plus I have like actual bills that I have to pay, like I have to pay for my phone bill and I have to pay for my gas in my car and other like housing expenses. You are know what's in my bank account right now, I could show you a screenshot if I wanted to. I have exactly zero dollars and zero cents in my bank account um, available to me right now. <laughs> and that's kind of how it's been since, well, since I stopped working at the grocery store, but you know, that's a different story. But now I'm doing me, I'm being an entrepreneur, I'm starting my own business, which is honestly great, it's wonderful. I love running my own business, it is fun, I love the products that I'm getting out to people, a lot of people seem to really, really be enjoying what I'm selling, because I actually have to like have adult responsibilities with this. Like this is way harder like in practice than it was working at the grocery store. Granted, working at the grocery store was bad for my mental health, so we're not gonna go there but this is like very difficult and very like takes a lot of mental effort and it takes a lot of physical effort and money money is a hard thing to work with because I'm like where is this money coming from where is this money going wait why does it say I have 300 things in inventory when I have like 12 it's a confusing system it's a complicated system but it's something I'm working through and I'm very lucky that I have a very financially sound father and my dad is a genius and he can help me with all of this because I'm also a mess Plus Etsy doesn't like allow minors to sell on their shop without all of these like regulations that you have to meet And so everything is in my dad's name So he's kind of obligated to help me right now at least for like another month money. I don't have it I need it. I need money. Want to support me? Give me money. Go order something for my shop down below. I have really great shirts and stuff that I think you'd enjoy. I did make a video about my shop when I first started it, but at that time my shop was just going by The Riley Kyle, and I decided to change that since I have more stuff kind of directed towards the like CGL, TBDL, ABDL little communities, but it's not all that is. I have shirts that say pizza rolls, not gender rolls, uh, raise boys and girls the same way, other stuff. I have like um, a bath time box that you can get to like get all this like spa, self-care stuff. It's really cool. So it's not just that stuff, but it's called the Riley's Little Shop if you would like to go check it out. The link is down below. That's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about how money is stressing me out right now and my current monetary situation, which means I have zero dollars. Exactly zero dollars, which is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What is the most confusing thing about money to you? I look forward to reading those comments and replying to some of them. 
you should subscribe if you're not already because we are like almost at a thousand subscribers which is insane like I cannot physically wrap my head around that we're almost at a thousand subscribers and that is nuts that is nuts that is nuts you can also follow me on all of my social media if you want it is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms the links to everything that I have is down in the description below as well as all of the links to my like little CGL social media that's all I've got today I love you guys and I will see you guys on Saturday okay bye